it's having a lot of leaking issues with this lower from air seater parts. That's a mess. Call ready. We got the parts for you. We got the goods. That's the one we're going to be working on, hooked up to the RX. All right, what do we have here? So we did a full rebuild on a few of these tanks. Actually, I should say a partial rebuild. This one was a full rebuild top to bottom. On this one, he already had the lower from air seater parts, an a and I aftermarket brand that they're carrying at the dealers. We did the upper stuff, we did not do the lower, and he's having a lot of leaking issues with this lower. They've got this funky coupling set up here. There's hoses. I don't know what's going on here, but that's a mess. They've tried to patch it, tried to get it to not leak, and apparently it's leaking in this clean-out plate real bad. He's like, you know what? Let's just get your parts on there, get the ready parts and get it all ready. I don't want to hassle with this. I don't want to have any more issues. So I said, all right, I can do that. Look at that beauty. You want to take the hose clamps off? Sure. All right, sounds good. Show us how it's done. Well, while he's doing that, I'm going to show you guys what you get in a ready single piece lower. So when you open up the box, you're going to find that we've got these rubber hoses. And those are the couplers that make sure you don't have any leaks between the tube and the manifolds. That's what couples it together. Then you got your pack of hose clamps. This is important. We've got the stainless carriage bolts and anti-seize. Every kit has a tube of anti-seize in it and it's the nickel base anti-seize so that's the good stuff. It's a nice clean out plate here and for the main attraction we've got the ready one piece lower. Look at that beauty. It's a very clean design. It's all sealed up. Simple, really low cost solution. At the time of this video I believe we're at uh, $1,800 on this whole lower setup. That includes everything you see here. That's gonna change out all of this stuff, these plastic manifolds, caps, all that stuff, to a much simpler design. And there's less leak points. It's just, it's just way better. And we're able to maintain the Venturi restriction that helps draw product from your tank or bin into the airstream. Are you done yet? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? <laughs> I feel like I get to be a kid again. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Instead, I'll just say, are we done yet? You're doing a great job. Hey guys, look at this. We got four clamps per tube. And uh, that wasn't even enough over here. They had four and then they tried to patch it with a hose to get it to stop leaking. So there's another two per what a mess. Call ready. We got the parts for you. We got the goods. We'll get these things off fast. When it's junk, it's time to treat it like junk. All right, we're gonna finish getting these nuts off. Yep. Look at how the material was eroding the seal. That's crazy, I've never seen this before. So the Airstream is taking the product that way. And uh, for some reason, 
there was enough cavitation here that it was chewing up the seal. I don't know if that's part of the problem. I don't, it hasn't gone past the seal yet, but uh, interesting, very interesting. Don't know, don't care at this point. We're gonna put a ready one on and it's gonna be way better. So one of the things that I'm seeing different about ours is we've got this filler plate in here and that's not gonna allow the product to kind of circulate through and try to erode this seal. That's gonna, we're gonna tighten up against this filler plate. Now, if you have a John Deere meter housing that's got the insert divider piece that comes down, you're gonna remove this plate. This just pops right out like so. And your plastic piece is gonna pop down in here. But because our meter housings are flat on the bottom, this is a filler plate you're gonna want in there. And these come already installed. See how ours is flat all across the bottom? And that's on purpose. It's much simpler, easier handling, uh, mounting stuff too. You don't have anything sticking past. And we don't have those plastic dividers that can warp, cause problems. like a ball right there is good. Two things. You're up to two things already. <laughs> wow. I think you should skip school more often. Look at all these things you're learning and finding. Yeah, he's skipping some school, so he's got some makeup homework, but this is good training, right? This is good schooling. We got to get a mix of that in too. Any gap here is okay because these couplers are going to cover it. Most of the time there's not this much gap. But again, it doesn't matter. We're gonna have a nice seal from these rubber hoses that are gonna act like couplers. These big washers are for inside of here and they're gonna give us the proper spacing so we don't over compress the seal and we don't bow these plates. It's gonna give us just enough compression to seal properly. Now that we've got all the bolts started here, we're gonna lower this jack. Way to show how it's done. But now it's a little easier to hold these up with all that out of the way. And we can go around, snug these up as we go. Got all the clamps on, the couplers on. I'm gonna double check them, make sure there's nothing loose. And this should be good to go. We're gonna mount the, the clean out plate next. Like so. And voila, we've got a sealed lower no more leaks here, no more leaks here. You're gonna have a nice metering manifold stream. The air is gonna take that product and get it to where it needs to go. We're told there's a bad bearing on one of our closing wheels that we did, or it's just a loose wheel. So I gotta go up there. Finally found it after crawling all the way through this thing. Lo and behold, it's way up there. I called Travis and, yep. He told me it's painted green, which is very helpful, by the way. If you find something that's bad, mark the thing so you can find it later. It's at the very top of that left rank in the front. So we're going to get that changed or tightened up and then get out of here. We got a sloppy wheel here. So I'm going to try to pop this cap off with the tools I got and see if tightening it makes it, makes it work.
Look at that. Solved. Problem solved. There we go. Got it. You ready to go? Yeah, me too. Well guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this adventure as much as we did. We're really thankful for everyone who chooses to do business with us and we're gonna do whatever we can to make sure they and you keep on seeding, keep on farming and uh, do it with, for a lot less money. So if you got any seeders that need help, if you want us to inspect it, do any work, please don't hesitate to reach out. We're here for you. All right, God bless. Kind of nice that they designed these machines to have a ladder on them.